Merry Christmas, everyone. Ho, ho, ho. Last Christmas, I gave you my heart, but the very next day, you gave it away. This year, to save me from tears, I'll give it to someone special. Good morning, everybody. Please excuse how I look and everything. I have literally only just woken up with Ozzy. So that's why my hair is like this, because I put it up last night so it wasn't all in my face. But it's currently half eight, and okay. Zach's mum has just turned up. Okay, baby. We woke Ozzy up to change his nappy and put him in a snowsuit. And we ended up hearing him cough really, really, like, harsh. And he was wee and he's wheezing, and he's just not really like that. And it's just, oh! And it's really not good. And But anyways, um, he's really, really suffering, like, coughing and breathing, like... He's really wheezing, and the bad thing is, with this time of year, around December winter time, um, us as babies, like our first Christmas, we suffered really, really badly from bronchitis or bronchitis or whatever it's called, but we really, really badly suffered with it, and usually we end up having to go to the ambulance with sirens on and everything, and like when we're babies we have to be put on like oxygen and everything like that because it gets really, really bad, but then we just get sent home with an inhaler, like it's not like just the green inhaler, so it's not like bad, but this is the first sign that my mum has always picked up on from bronchitis. So what we've done is we're going to call the doctors. We've had to cancel on Zach's mum today because of how this is. And we're going to go and check him, get him checked out and everything because he's not, because he wasn't himself yesterday. He's not being himself for the past couple of days. He's been really moany and whiny. So we're going to get him checked out by the doctors and we had to cancel on Zach's mum. So I'm, I feel really, really bad to cancel, but, but like I cannot, leave him like this especially with especially with me not being there so he's gonna stay with us today we're gonna go down doctors my mum said they might even send us down to a and e so i don't actually know what's going to happen Okay, so I've just got off the phone to the doctors and I've given Oscar some cowbell and they said that they're going to phone me back in a bit with the doctor. So I got off the phone with the receptionist and she said that the doctors will call the doctor will call us when she's ready for a little appointment to talk. So we're having a phone call appointment and then from there we'll either get told to like leave it and see how he is like observing from home or bring him to the doctors or take him down A and E. So Really excited to see how the way this goes. He's literally just face planted into the pillow. He's crying. Boy. Hi, Mum. How do you come? Do you want to play with the dog? I'm a friendly. Wow. I know, baby. I know. So it's about literally 10 minutes later since when I last updated you. Um, we haven't had a call from doctors yet. Oscar had obviously carpal about half an hour ago now and he's not stopped coughing, he's still coughing quite badly. Um, just not as regular now. And he isn't wheezing as constantly but he's still like wheezing, I don't know if you can hear. But anyways, Zach has just gone to fill the piggy's water bottle up. So there's Patch. We have Pumpkin down there, and then Baz back there. But I'm just about to spot to clean the guinea pigs because I was going to change them today, but obviously I don't know if I'm going to have time, if we, depending on what we need to do. So I'm just going to spot clean them now and get rid of most of the mess. And then if I don't have time to clean them today, it's not much of an issue. And I'll just do it tomorrow morning because they're still like semi clean because it's really messy at the moment. So I'm just going to tidy up a little bit. I mean, hopefully we don't have to go anywhere and hopefully they'll just like give us antibiotics, but obviously that's not how it usually works with babies or anybody for that matter. So, yeah. So we're just gonna have to see what happens and what goes on, but I'm just about to clean the guinea pig cage for a second. You biting my arm? It's really not well. Yeah, because he's cuddling me. What, so he's not well because he's good than yeah. you? Oh. No, I mean, I know he's not well because he's good than oh, me. Oh, I thought you meant Normally, like... Normally, he's a mummy's boy. He never want nothing of me. He oh. wants all you. No good wants from me. So he just sits there and drives. 
No, it doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't now, didn't you, Steve? No, it doesn't. Too much girl. <laughs> Too much girl. <laughs> yeah, go. You've got you ready. Too much girl. Girl. Ah! <laughs> Those two are up to no good. Oi. I don't trust them. <laughs> so I've just had the call from the doctor and told him exactly what's going on. And he said that because Oscar have, has a cough and because of COVID at the moment, we cannot bring Oscar down to the doctor's surgery. So we've got to bring him down to Charles A and E. So. I know. I'm so worried. Oh. Yeah, oh, I know. Hopefully, we we know we've been we've been through this. I know every child's different. He's not the exact direct genetic. Oh, um, I'm just going. What's up? My phone's about to break. Oh, bless you. Oh my gosh, I was zooming in the whole time. Right, so anyways, as I just said, the doctors have just phoned our landline and have had a conversation with me. I've said everything, what's happened with Oscar, how he's got a temperature, he's, he's got a barking cough, he's wheezing, and the doctor said it sounds like he's got bronchiolitis. Has he suffered from it before or has anybody else suffered in the family? And obviously Callum, Bobby and Demi, when they were his age around Christmas, um, they had bronchiolitis as well. It's just the weather, it's just how our bodies react and our immune system isn't built up enough like it's just what happens for kids anyways so i am having to take oscar to hospital we've got to go to children's emergency which isn't very good i'm really happy though because i've got my video all up for today it is currently 5 to 12 they didn't call us about until about half an hour ago like they called us about half 11 and we called in at half eight so oh it's stressful but zach is currently outside just talking to his mum telling her like He's got to go to hospital, like, we're sorry we had to cancel on you, but it wasn't just for no cause, Kira's getting hospital. Zach has actually got to stay here while I go, because you're only allowed one in the hospital. So I'm the only one that's allowed to go with Oscar. But I've packed loads of nappies, wipes, I've got three bottles with me, with three powders. He's got some strawberry wafers there. I have a whisper and a phone charge and a phone charger. But the only thing is, obviously, I'm going to be on my own with a baby. Like, I can't just leave him unattended and go and get food for myself. I'm really worried that I'm not going to be able to eat, like, at all today. Uh, because I haven't had nothing, I haven't had anything to eat. But Zach can't come with me, which is really stressful. So I'm, like, getting really, really paranoid right now because I don't like doing things by myself. Like, my anxiety kicks in and I, like, go crazy. I just don't like talking to people. That's what Zach usually does. But now I've got to go all by myself, so... Yeah, I don't really know what I've got to say. I've got a little notebook with me just in case I need to write anything down for either myself or Zach to know. So yeah, I just need to grab some toys for Ozzy to keep him busy to pass the time, bless him. I've had to give him these dummies that I got yesterday. So he's got three new ones as well as the one he had yesterday. And I've put them onto these dummy straps and just put them in the bag so I don't lose them. So he's got one dummy with him plus three other dummies. I've got the dummy steriliser. Oscar's got the sleep suit that he's got on at the moment plus also two spare sleep suits and two body suits. He's not got a body suit on at the moment because he, because he was so warm overnight. So I didn't put him in a body suit because of how warm he was. He was just not getting any better. So I've got my earphones. My phone is on charge at the moment, the one with my SIM so I can use 4G because I didn't charge it overnight. So it's like 4%. Uh, I'm literally stressing so much right now. Right, I'm going to go and get ready. And then once I am all ready to go, I will update you with the plan. Me and Ozzy are now all ready. We are about to go down to the hospital, so... Yay. <gasps> this phone has 32%. I'm so glad I charged those portable chargers. Okay, so we're now at the hospital. Ozzy's um. in his buggy and we've just been checked. He's got a little bracelet. And he's had to have this thing to check his stats and everything. So obviously we're in the hospital. I don't think I have to wear this now. I'm in my own room. But they've just put us into a bay. I'm going to keep it on just in case. I don't know. But we're in a bay at the moment. So we're just like in our own little room. The doctor is going to come and check up on us in a minute. And like ask us another following series of questions. Everything like that. Hopefully everything's going to be okay with the man. But I don't know. He's looking a lot, lot more like himself. I just hate seeing him like this like it's horrible like no mother should have to go through this with a baby ever like it's absolutely heartbreaking hi baby wow. but everyone's loving how smiley he is and everything like and we wasn't even here long like we i was probably waiting for all of 
six minutes left up. I'm just letting Oscar play with a little toy at the moment. But yeah, I was hit, like sitting around for six minutes. Oh my god, I thought someone was coming in then. Um, and then we went and got checked. So I'm gonna sit here. I'm gonna go on TikTok for a little bit, have some fun, play with Ozzy Boom, make sure he's okay. Yeah? That sounds like a good plan. Oh my god, I hate this. You can't pull it off. That's naughty. That's got to stay on your foot. They got to check you. You got to make sure you're okay and you're better before you can take that off. I know you want to come out. I know. Stop playing with it. Mummy's here. Please ignore the fact that I've got my hood up. I'm going to have to talk really quietly. But it is now two o'clock and Oscar has just been discharged. They said that because he's not working hard to breathe and his oxygen levels are okay, he's good to go home. But if he gets a temperature that lasts more than five days, if he's off his food, juice, milk, anything like that, if he gets a rash or anything like that, like out of the ordinary, bring him back down here straight away just to check over him and make sure he's okay because it could possibly be bronchiolitis. It's just the start of it at the moment. Like they said that probably because he was ill yesterday, day day three to four is usually the worst. So days three is tomorrow. So they've given me a couple of leaflets and we are now getting discharged. So I've got to wait for my mum to come and pick me up because she went home because she thought we were going to be ages. I told her to stay with me because I don't know how long we're going to be. Like we could be literally 20 minutes. So there's no point you going home because it takes us because it literally takes us 45 minutes to get to the hospital. And then literally I get in here in an hour later like she's literally only just got back home, only just got out of the car because it's been, it's literally been an hour, like she would have been home for 15 minutes. Now she's got to come back out and pick me up, so she's got to drive, a, she'll drive 45 minutes to come pick me up. Me and Ozzy are having to go out of this room now because they need it for other patients, obviously. So I don't know where we're going to be able to wait. I'm going to ask the nurses if there's any possibility we can wait in the waiting room for a bit until my mum turns up so we're not out in the cold because obviously Ozzy is so warm. Here's the little poly bubble. There's the little poly bubble. I've changed his bum and everything and everything seems good. So I'm gonna go now and I will probably see you when I'm back at home. He is strapped in here and I'm literally keeping an eye on him like I'm he's not out of my sight. I don't want you guys thinking that he's just not strapped in. He's strapped in at the bottom and I know that's not like the safest option but it's safer than nothing. But we're just waiting for my mum. Yeah, grandma. Yeah. I don't actually know when she's meant to be here. It's currently half two, so I'm expecting her to be here very, very soon. You just dropped some of your biscuits. Oh, she's still got more. Oh. Oh. Should mommy pick it up and put it in the bin? Ew. So, it is now four o'clock and me and Uzbum are all home. I had to get Ozzy changed. I did, because you had an accident, didn't you? Which is okay, everyone goes through it. But anyways, obviously I'm back now. I don't really remember what I said in the hospital to what they said, but basically they said that they don't think Oscar has bronchitis. And if he does, it is very, very mild at the moment and it could get worse, but they don't think he has any bronchitis at the moment, which is really, really good. He seems really, really healthy, they said. They think he's just got some like phlegm and mucus caught up in his throat, which is why he's coughing and wheezing and he just needs to pass like just like a normal cold. So I'm really, really happy that they said that. I don't really know what's happening outside my room. Yeah, they said that Ozzy's all okay. Just carry on giving him cowpole. If he has a temperature for more than five days or something like that, then turn up again and they'll get him checked out. But he seems okay now. He's had more cowpole and he's a bit more like himself. He stopped coughing, stopped wheezing and he seems really happy. 
but the doctor did say that we need to get a COVID test done oh. for him. So we've had to um, book him a COVID test appointment for tomorrow at half five. He's got it. He's got a COVID test tomorrow at half five, which I'm really not happy about because I don't really want him to be tested for COVID. The doctor said that he's most likely not got COVID, but it's just the standard procedure that they have to go through, which I completely understand why, but I think it's more for track and trace rather than to know if he has COVID. But he seems okay. He seems a lot more like himself. He's still coughing, but pulling my hair. And um, I've currently got Bobby in here with me. And a guy called Paul ordered something for Oscar off of our Amazon wish list. And I was gonna save it for Christmas, but I was like, he's already got loads for Christmas. I'm gonna give it to him now, purely because he's got too much to open for Christmas already. But also because he's been such a good boy today, I wanted to give him like a little treat. So I thought that I'd open this from Paul. So thank you so much for getting this. He absolutely loves it. It's, it's like those squeaky egg things, but like as a set. Like I don't really know. It like has a train and a Ferris wheel. And you can like connect it together and then make it spin. You get four of these and you can like spin it like that. Or you can have it attached on like a little train. I, I think it's so cool and Oscar absolutely loves it and so does Bobby. So thank you so much to Paul. My phone has just gone off twice for some odd reason. Oh, it's just a message from the hospital. It's okay. Being like rate your visit and everything like that. But he's doing a lot, lot better now. As I said, it is currently four o'clock. We're all home now. I've literally got nothing planned for this evening because my video is all up and edited, which I'm really, really happy about. I'm probably going to sit down and try and edit tomorrow's video, but I don't think that's going to work with Ozzy crying in the background. Zach is currently outside calling his mum to ask if she wants him on Saturday when, when she's off for the weekend because obviously we had to cancel today so that we could take him down to hospital, which I didn't want to do, but I had to get it checked out. Just It's just me being an overprotective mother and everything, but it's also because my mum was really concerned because she's also had bronchitis in the family before, so she knows the signs. So yeah, Zach's outside currently arranging whether she wants him on Saturday. And if she does, then that just means that I have a whole day to myself because even though Zach's going to be here, he'll probably just hang out with my brother. So I just have a whole day to myself to edit and film, which I really need. Like, I need I need a day like this because I am getting really far behind. Like, I filmed all the videos. I just am so far behind. I'm editing. So I need to have a day of editing. But then I also need to film a couple more clips for other videos. And I also need to film a couple more sit-down videos rather than vlogs. So that's the plan. I've got to go see Ozzy and then I'll be back. Okay, so it is actually the next day. Um, Ozzy is doing a lot, lot better now. There is no like issues or any signs that anything is progressively getting worse, which is really, really good. Basically, as I said, I forgot to film yesterday, so I'm just gonna say bye now. Zach's mum is having Oscar on Sunday, which is really good. So rather than her having him on Saturday, I get Sunday all to myself, basically to do all the work that I need to do to catch up with everything, which is literally what I need to do. Um, but anyways, I'm gonna go now. I really hope you enjoyed the vlog. Oscar is doing a lot, lot better now. Obviously, this video was filmed about five days ago. So follow us on all our social media, so you're up to date with everything, because like when Oscar went into hospital, I did let everyone on Instagram and Snapchat know, rather than YouTube because obviously my videos post late but on other social media I'm more active like more frequently and it's more like real time I guess so make sure you follow us on all our social media so you're up to date with literally everything and you don't miss anything um but I do hope you enjoyed today's video I hope you're all having an amazing week and I will see you all tomorrow for another two videos bye